In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a histogram using a pivot table so you can easily adjust your bin widths. To start, here we have our quantitative data. I'm going to highlight this data and go up to Insert, Insert Pivot Table. Here, I'm going to put this pivot table into this existing worksheet by putting an existing worksheet and then selecting a spot in my chart. Press OK. From here, I'm going to take my data and drop it down into rows, and then again, take the data and drop it down into values. Here, to start, it says sum of data. I actually want a count of data to create uh, a count of certain values. So under value field settings, I can change sum to count. Here, now I have all ones for my data. This isn't quite what I want yet. I want to now split this data into bins for my histogram. So to start, we're going to go up to Pivot Table Analyze, and under Pivot Table Analyze, we'll go to Group Selection. If you don't see this, make sure you select one cell in your Pivot Table, then go up to Pivot Table Analyze and click Group Selection. From here, we'll choose a starting point. Excel automatically gives me the minimum value. This is 25. So I'm going to put in my minimum value of, uh, let's say, 24. The reason why is because I want to do a bin of a width of 2. So I can choose these different widths. And so it makes sense to choose an even number for my lowest bound. Then for here, for my ending point, I'm going to put in 42. Now, if I press OK, right now the bin widths will be only one. And so this is, um, you can see a lot of ones. And so this isn't really a great uh, bin width. Instead, I should make this two. So I can easily just go back up to my data, selecting one of these cells, pivot table, analyze, group selection. And instead of having by one, I'm going to put in by two. It's OK. Now I can see that there are far fewer ones in my frequencies, the count of data. Now I can easily plot this data by highlighting it, going to insert, and just choosing a typical bar chart. So now I've created a bar chart from this data. If I don't want these uh, labels here and here, then I can just copy and paste this to a new spot and it'll be a typical chart. For this example, I'm just not going to take that step. Now I can see that this distribution is essentially bimodal with a lot of the values centered at 30 and 32 and again at 36 and 38. Just like any other chart, I can change chart titles if I'd like. I can also change some elements of the chart. So if I remove this part and uh, go up to um, this little additional thing here, then I can add some different chart elements like axis titles and, and whatnot. So that can be something that I can do to help my overall chart. If I double click on the chart, then I this format chart area will come up. And what's nice about this is I can then change the gap width on these. And so they're not going to be so separate from each other. I can make this a little smaller so it looks a little bit more like a histogram rather than a bar chart. And this is how we can quickly create a histogram in Excel from a pivot table and being able to then manipulate the bins to what we want rather than what Excel has. Hopefully this video better helped you understand how to create this type of chart.